uh, Mike, should we assume that the Steelers, since they seem to want to use Najee Harris heavily, should be uh, anticipating this same sort of drama in about a year? Well, yes, and that's the bottom line when it comes to any of these individual running backs. If you have a big third year, if you're a drafted player, you can't renegotiate your contract by rule for three regular seasons. For any running back that has a big third year, that's when you make your move. Whether you do it behind the scenes and you convince the team to give you a long-term deal like Christian McCaffrey did with the Panthers a few years back after his third season. And in his third season, he became the third guy ever to have 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving. Or you do what Ezekiel Elliott did four years ago where he held out and he stayed away until the Cowboys gave him the deal he was looking for. So if Najee Harris has a huge year, that means – it's time for him to take a stand and it's time for him to try to get paid. That's how an individual running back gets a great contract. It begins, though, with a great third year. Saquon Barkley tore his ACL early in his third year, so he wasn't in a position to try to get a big contract after three seasons. So the key is going to be stay healthy, have a big year, and then Najee Harris makes his move for a big contract. But arguably, I still think Saquon Barkley is the face of that Giants offense. I, even though Daniel Jones is being paid, what, the $44 million that he is, I still think when you think about the Giants offense and what teams prepare for, they're always accounting for a guy like Saquon Barkley. Do you think with all of this controversy that's been happening this year, that best-case scenario for running backs, they can at least get teams to negotiate based on paying a player and not a position? That's one of the things that you have to do to try to get more than what the running back market would provide. That's what Christian McCaffrey did. And if Saquon Barkley had had the year that he had in 2022, back in 2020, he might have been able to do the same thing. So there are some running backs that are just great offensive weapons. That's what Le'Veon Bell was trying to do five or six years ago. The stuff he went through with the Steelers is the standard run-of-the-mill fare now for a lot of these top running backs, and he handled it the way he did. And some could say it blew up in his face, but he still ended up with $27, $28 million fully guaranteed the following year after he sat out the full season from the Jets. So that's just the way it goes. And the more you contribute in the passing game, the better argument you have as a running back to get treated differently than, than the guys who are the old school three yards in a cloud of dust type between the tackles runners.